Hey y'all. Well, it's time to announce the winner to the scratch building contest. It was a really hard decision and I appreciate your comments and feedback and votes on these videos and I did tally those up carefully and com compared them with uh, my opinions and uh, the CEO of Experimental Airlines, Armin, had his say as well and uh, we have chosen a winner. Um, it was tough because each of the planes w had its own unique uh, inventions and characteristics, some of which I will be incorporating in my own planes. I watched every one of these videos start to finish and I would urge you to do the same because they do contain some awesome ideas. Some of the favorites seem to be the biplanes and the flying wings, and those are new ad adaptations of the Armin wing, which I hadn't explored yet, so I think we'll see more of those. I'm sure you'll agree each of these planes has its merits, so a few of the top guys, I'd like to give a gift and a, of one of these uh, titanium motor mounts that I make. Um, it's nothing special, it's um, just a motor mount, but it's kind of cool to have titanium. It's nice and light and strong, and just uh, have that on your plane is kind of nice. And then the top winner is going to get, of course, the Tape Brothers prize of $60 worth of uh, packing tape over half a mile of tape. Hope they'll enjoy that. Um, I get all my packing tape from Tape Brothers. They take good care of me. So thank you very much to TapeBrothers.com for sponsoring the contest. Also, because he is such a persistent inventor, uh, prolific producer of videos and aircraft, I'd like to give uh, Mr. West 1960 the Studio HD Ultimate uh, video editing software. For Windows so you can keep producing those great videos. Um, I remember once you mentioned you did want some video editing software so hopefully this will help out a little bit and uh, keep them coming buddy we really like your stuff. To start off the top five is the Proto V2 by G. Kadanoff. This is just a sharp plane, great plan form, nice colors. I really like how you're able to use straight arm and wings to make a flying wing which makes the construction much easier. This battery tray shows a lot of ingenuity and I will definitely be using this on some of my planes in the future. Very high marks for your videography as well. Next we have the famous FB drone by Mr. West 1960. I think the best way to summarize this plane is to say that it is simply badass. It just totally commands the skies and it flies like it's literally on rails. So my next FPV plane is definitely going to borrow heavily from the FB drone. Here is the Red Baron Armin style by Scratch Build RC. I say this plane can easily claim to have the most detailed style and scale appearance of any of the planes in the contest. I say the only thing is most of us really wanted to see this plane fly more and so we'll hope to see it more in the future. Next up is the Triple Trouble by Womack KE. This thing is just far out and trippy and creative in ways that I just never anticipated with the swiveling GoPro tail mount, three motors, opposite directions, great imagination on this one. He's flying 10,000 milliamp hours worth of battery plus a GoPro. Those together weigh more than my Axon altogether and look how it just takes right off like it's nothing. And finally, there's the Tube Extreme by Mr. CC Mountain Hill. I think this plane strikes a great balance between style but simplicity of build. And obviously it flies just great. It's very unique but not so radical that most of us couldn't figure out how to make one kind of like it.
Scoop Extreme. Yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> Go. Hi, my name is Chris. This is my new Dollar Tree phone plane. Uh, starting from top to bottom, I got a Turnigy 1020 kV size 480 motor. And I decided to go with a biplane this time and I actually stacked the fuselage tubes together, top and bottom, and uh, that gave me the space for the biplane wing. And I actually cut down the wing so I could slide my fuselage tube inside. I thought it made, made it look pretty clean. For my landing gear, I just got this aluminum tubing from the local hobby shop and I bent it and put a carbon fiber rod in between them. It made it pretty sturdy. Looking forward to seeing how that works. And here on the back is actually a GWS slow stick fuselage tube that I cut and I just put a little steerable tail wheel on there. And for my rear control surfaces, I actually cut a little notch inside the fuselage tube so I could slide it in there, hot glued it in. I think it made it pretty stable. So, and also Michelle cut out these decals for me. I call it the Tube Extreme. We'll see how aerobatic it is. Alright, so we're about to take off. The wind, it's kind of windy today. The wind's coming from this direction, so we'll taxi it take off this way. Whoa! Did you put that beeping thing on there? Yeah, I did. Pavements strip over here. 